sir. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Total, how many demands? <laughs> yeah, please. Sir, I rise to speak on the current railway budget. Indian Railways is the second largest transport in Asia. There are 13,453 passenger trains carrying 2.3 crore passengers and 9,141 freight trains carrying 30 lakh tons of goods flying through. 7,349 stations daily, it is as per the government statistics. Such a huge system working in the country may be called as the lifeline of India. But, sir, it is a matter of great regret that the fare of railway tickets have increased at every budgetary proposal of the present government. To travel in trains like Rajdhani Express or Duranto Express, it has become out of reach for the common people, which back in the past was much easier, much easily purchased at the time when our present Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamta Banerjee, was the Railway Minister of India. Yes. That was actually the glorious era of railways. It was a feeling that the railways function together like a railway family. So my question is to the Honorable Minister that, sir, can you say that what is the number of solar power conducted railway trains operating in our country? On July 14, 2017, India's first solar power vehicle was operating at Savdarjang Railway Station, Savdarjang Railway Station, New Delhi. Solar power train can save us from the huge pollution and from all the thick black smoke that we get from diesel, uh, diesel engines. So my proposal to the railway minister is that main thrust is to be given on modernization and the safety of passengers. New bullet trains corridors were assured, but sir, what is the result? Is bullet train that we see in Japan possible to run in our country? Because our soil is not fit for such type of trains to operate. It was, sir. So basically, sir, the current government is misguiding the nation. First speed trains are being attempted to mark as bullet trains. Names of seven corridors have been sanctioned, but no budgetary support has been allotted. Why is the nation being bluffed? You have already sold Air India. When is the Shubh Mahurat when you are going to sell Indian Railways? We also need to know that. Proposals for uh, PPP models have already started, which is the beginning of this ultimate purpose. We need to increase the railway connectivity in a bigger way with coal connectivity and uh, port connectivity projects. So, sir, please tell us in your reply that uh, what is your future plan to run the Indian railways? Or is there is a plan to sell it part by part to the private parties? I had already in this house mentioned that this government is in a mood to sell all the public sectors, even if they are profit-making sectors. So I hope that the Indian railways do not have the same kind of fate, which we are apprehending. Reform railways to make it more efficient, greener, and modern, which will translate into cheaper, safer, assured mode of transport for our common man. The trains are not running on time. There's a huge delay, which is causing trouble to the common passengers. Cleanliness of the toilet is very, very important. These are very small things. But uh, in how many trains, bio toilets have been set up by the railway compartments? I would also request my other fellow MP colleagues that uh, with, your, uh, um, with your sufficient money that we get from the MP funds, why can't we allot the same, uh, a small amount of money to increase the seating arrangements in our respective constituencies? Here in Bengal, we MPs, we do that. I have done that. A lot of people have done that. These are very small matters, but matters of uh, importance. Thus, sir, I would end with a few other questions. How many proposals proposed at National Railway Plan have been implemented? 
and I allege that West Bengal has been deprived in this railway budget. Please try to implement all the proposals which were proposed by the then Honorable Railway Minister, Mamta Banerjee, standing on the floor of this house. And last but not the least, I want to ask that how far it is true that one lakh Group D, including gangmen, more than 30,000 Group C vacancies exist or they don't? If so, then when will the vacancies be filled? Because in our country, the hungry, unemployed youth are actually fighting. Yes, sir. I mean, that expression is lovely, but they are actually fighting. There is no employment here. We are struggling. And it is not me saying, the research says so. So, with so much hunger in this country, what is your government doing about it? And coming back, humbly I would say that we are all in favor of the railways. And we want to see that it is being run smoothly, with comfort, with thinking of security for the people and for the passengers, at tolerable costs, so that everybody can avail. Thus, myself and my party does not support this budget. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sri Arun Sarji.